Hey, what's up VIPs? Derek here, back with a quick video about the iPhone and moving apps around the home screen after iOS 11. Now before, and I think I did a video about this, before you could double tap and hold and it would bring up the editing part, you know, so you could say, okay, I want to move this around. But the problem is after iOS 11, they took that double tap and hold away and now it's a little bit different. Still very doable, just different. So I wanted to show you a little bit about moving apps around the home screen if you've got an, uh, an iPhone or an iPad or something running iOS 11, and I think it's 11.1 or later. So uh, let's go into this, let's see here. We'll select, Evernote. okay, Evernote. So first I'm gonna swipe up and down and see what I get. Edit mode, activate, default edit mode. Okay, so I've got edit mode and activate, which activate would open it up. So let's make sure. Edit. Edit mode, I'm gonna double tap. Okay, now it's editing. So now I'm, I'm, I've got some different options here. So let's see what I've got. Now activate is confusing because, well, let me show you what other options I have first. So I can drag it, which means I can move it around the screen. I can delete it, or I can stop editing the apps and it'll just take me out. Now the problem is, Activate is the same as deleting it, so I don't even know why they gave activate as an option, but, you know, whatever. And you just heard it say finished editing. If you don't do anything for a while, it'll stop the editing process all by itself. So, let's see if we can move this around. All right, so Evernote, edit mode. All right, so I want to drag it around. So I want to drag it, double tap. And you heard it go doo 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 now. I've got a folder here. Let's put it after that folder. Let's see what happens. Stop editing apps. So I can stop. Add to drag session. I can add that folder to my drag session, which means I can move multiple apps. Drop Evernote before sleep folder. Drop ready. I can drop Evernote before the folder, which it already is. Drop Evernote after sleep folder. Drop ready. I can drop it after, so let's do that. Drop complete. Boom. Evernote. Now Evernote sleep is folder. after that folder. Evernote. Now I can also add it to that folder. Let's see here. Drag Evernote. Okay, so I'm going to go. The folder. I can add the Evernote to the sleep folder that way. I can also cancel the drag, which I'm going to do now. So it's a pretty simple process. It's just some up swipes and then double tapping to get your selected or you know your desired note. Um, whatever you want to do, you can do. Just make sure that you're swiping up and down, you know, and it's the same thing as before. So that's just a quick example of how to move apps around the home screen when you're using iOS 11. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below, and I hope that this tutorial was helpful to you. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you like it, and subscribe to my channel so you can get more great tutorials just like this. My name is Derek Daniel, and until next time, remember, sight loss isn't the end. It's just the beginning. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.